Alright, uh, hi everyone. So today I'm going to uh, show you uh, how to do a uh, bodage adjustment for traversing calculation. Okay. Okay, so the function of uh, bodage adjustment is uh, for you to uh, calculate the adjustment value so that the error here in latitude and departure direction should be 0 and 0. Okay, how we are going to do that is that we are going to refer to the linear misclosure okay, that we obtain over here so that we are going to get a much better accuracy. Okay, so what you want to do is that you want to get linear misclosure 0 or close to 0. So what happens in linear misclosure is that, okay, this distance 0 0.0201 meter represents whereby, okay, over here you are starting from station 1 to 2 to 3 to 4 to 1. Okay, so 1 to 2 to 3 to 4 to 1. So actually what happens is that over here, this is where you start. However, this is where you finish. Okay, so the distance, okay, over here, the distance between the finishing point and the starting point, this is what we call linear misclosure. So this linear misclosure, okay, it is being represented in Delta N and Delta E direction. Delta N and Delta E direction. Okay, so there's a misclose in Delta N direction of negative 0 0.018 and in easting Delta E direction, negative 0 0.009 meter. So what we want to do in body adjustment is that we want to make sure that over here, the total of Delta N, the misclosure is 0 or close to 0 and delta E is 0 or close to 0 ok so what you're going to do is first list uh, list down the station number ok again station 1 to 2 to 3 to 4 to 1 ok then you are going to list down the delta N as well as delta E. Okay, so you you copy back these numbers. Okay, so draw the line. It is good if you are using the paper with uh, lines already. Okay, over here, don't forget to write down the total. So, misclose negative 0 0.018, negative 0 0.009. Okay, so over here, because you are carrying out bodish adjustment, you are going to need a uh, additional columns eh? okay so you are going to have uh, two more columns delta n adjusted and Delta E adjusted. Okay. So, in the notes, you can refer to uh, the formula for bodish adjustment whereby delta N adjusted equals to 
total delta n multiply by line distance over total distance okay and then for delta e adjusted equals to total delta e times line distance over total distance okay so this line distance referred to this line distance okay and then the total distance referred to the total distance here okay so now we have to calculate for each and every one of this delta n and delta e adjusted okay so um, you are going to take your calculator okay so you put in total delta n negative 0 0.018 multiply by line distance 357 over total distance 177.573 okay so over here you can see uh, times 10 to the power of negative 3 so you know that you have to write down as negative 0 0.006 okay okay so to be on the safe side we just take two four decimal places and eh, for the adjustment value four okay so let's continue with uh, the other point okay so negative 0 0.018 multiply by 27.336 over 177.573 so negative 0 0.0028 Zero point zero zero six Okay, so now we are going to do for delta E adjusted. Okay, delta E adjusted. Over here, negative 0 0.009 times 63.357 over 177.573. Negative zero point zero zero three two. Okay, and then the next one. Negative zero point. Zero, zero, one, four. Okay, negative zero point zero zero three zero.
negative 0 0.0014 Okay, so let's try to total up this both of this column eh? The delta N adjusted and delta E adjusted Okay, so you get negative 0 0.018. The next column. Okay, negative 0 0.009. So you can see that, okay, the total of delta N match with the total delta N the total of delta E adjusted match with the delta E adjusted so over here you know that the adjustment value same as the error so this much you are adjusting from this much okay now moving on you want to get the uh, correct value for delta N and delta E so you add two more columns here Okay, for delta N corrected and delta E corrected. Okay, so what you do is for delta N corrected equals to delta N minus delta N adjustment delta e corrected equals to delta e minus delta e adjusted okay so this is the formula all right so now what you're going to do is very easy this column minus this column to get this column okay so let's highlight on another Color U minus and then you will get the result over here. Okay. So now let's calculate. So thirty two point two four six minus uh negative 0 0.0064 so you get 32.252 okay three decimal places right okay so now for delta e corrected so total delta e sorry delta e minus delta e adjusted
Okay, so let's check. Okay, let's check. So we can total up this delta N corrected column and delta E corrected column. Okay, so you get zero, means no error at all in delta n direction. Okay, I want to recalculate this one. Eh? It's supposed to be negative sign. Okay, because here is negative, here is supposed to be negative. So I recalculate 0.537. Minus negative 0 0.0032. 534. So I forgot the negative sign. Okay, so negative 54.5. Okay, so here the error is zero, negative 0 0.001. Okay, because remember over here, we sum up to uh, four decimal places. Okay, but here adjustment, we round up to three decimal places. So we can have the total as zero or close to zero. So this one is acceptable. Okay, uh, if you manage to get this as zero, it is better. Eh? Uh, Alright, so now we know that this adjustment, okay, this adjustment, this delta N and delta E adjustment is correct to be used for the next uh, level of uh, traversing work. Whereby usually you will use this value to transfer your coordinate in northing or easting direction. Okay. So, from the nodding and easting direction, then you can convert back to bearing and distance. So, this delta N and delta E value. And delta E value can be converted to bearing and distance. So, once you convert to the bearing and distance, so this is the corrected bearing and distance. So, this bearing and distance, you don't have to use it anymore since you have the converted one. Okay, the corrected one. Alright. So, that is all for body adjustment. So, make sure if you have any question regarding this uh, calculation, you can uh, ask me. Okay.